Hey, what's up, y'all? And well, uh, yeah, so, um, today, uh, going to be doing, uh, continuing my, uh, my, uh, preview and prediction series, uh, with, um, the SEC West Part 1, um, Alabama, LSU, and Texas A&M, so, so let's get right into it. We'll start out uh, with Alabama. Of course, last year um, Alabama was uh, they, yeah yeah thirteen and two. They lost Texas A and M in the regular season, but then they did go on to um, beat Georgia in the uh, SEC championship, and then beat Cincinnati in the college football playoff before losing to Georgia in the national championship. So, of course, Alabama is still Alabama, so it shouldn't be too hard uh, to do a prediction on them. Uh, but anyway, so, um, yes, yeah, so, so they, so they did lose, uh, their, um, their injured, uh, wide receivers. Uh, yeah, um, Jameson Williams and, um, and uh, John Mechie in the uh, uh, the draft. Now, of course, Bama fans say that they only lost the national championship because they didn't have have Williams and Mechie. Well, uh, th they're not gonna have Williams and Mechie this year, but they don't seem to be uh, um, too too worried about that. So. Um, but anyway, so um, and and then it's about well, it's about having uh, mum um, depth at uh, at um, at wide receiver. So know that there are uh, there are other uh, wide receivers um, didn't didn't get enough reps during the regular season because they didn't blow enough teams out. So because they weren't up enough in the second halves of games to put in their other their other receivers so um right but 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 I guess but I guess this year that those other receivers are gonna be getting um all all the reps so um so as players like um like uh um, a, a, a Jai Hall, while well, he's gone, he transferred to, uh, uh, to Texas. So we have, um, Ja'Cory Brooks and, uh, Jojo Earl, uh, who, uh, we didn't really see them play much, uh, last year, but, uh, because they, because, because they, they, they were freshmen, but were told that they're really good, so... And then, of course, they also got in two more wide receivers from the transfer portal. They got um, Mama, um, Jermaine Burton from Georgia and Tyler uh, Her uh, Harrell uh, from from Louisville. So, so like they'll be good there. And, and then, you know, Bryce Young, you know, it was Bryce Young. You know, he threw for almost 5,000 yards last year, so... Of course, they're running backs if they lost uh, uh, Brian Robinson, who, who had over a thousand yards. But they did get Jameer Gibbs from Georgia Tech, and then and then on defense, uh, they're loaded. Uh, it's going to be a uh, a monster this year, you know, with uh, Henry Toa Toa and uh, my mom. And uh, Will Anderson and uh, Kool Aid uh, uh, McKinstry, you know, Jordan Battle, you know, guys like that. So, but anyway, so, uh, yes, how about we uh, get into the schedule? Uh, 
Notice we do start out uh, week one with um, Utah State. Now this will be a, uh, a a scrimmage game. You know, you ought to beat you know Utah by Utah State by forty or fifty. And then you've got um, at Texas. Okay, now now Texas is 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 going to be a lot better this year uh, than. Uh, than they were uh, last year, but yeah, I'm not not going to pick against Nick Saban in Alabama uh, to um, uh, to to lose to anyone with um, eight months to prepare. So uh, that should be another win uh, for Bama. And then next you have ULM. Now we now I know we like to joke about about how y'all lost to. Uh, uh, to ULM back in 2007. I think y'all, uh, y'all beat them the last time y'all played, though, and again, this should be, uh, no sweat, easy win. And the next, you've got Vandy, uh, 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 yeah, Vandy's terrible. You'll beat Vandy by 50. I mean, and then you are, um, at, at Arkansas, now um, Alabama has has uh, has um, has never lost to Arkansas in the Saban era, and um, I, I I don't expect that to change. So, and then next you've got Texas A and M. Yes, um, revenge game. Uh, and I know that uh, that 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 um, that Jimbo has also been uh, talking talking a lot of crap about um, Nick Saban. So um, so um, I do believe that yes, Alabama will 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 will, will get their revenge, uh, and it, and and it's gonna gonna get ugly. So yeah, for Texas A and M. So. But anyway, and then uh, next they play. Um, they play uh, at Tennessee, and this is a uh, tra trap game. Uh, you know that 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 Tennessee is gonna have a really good offense. Uh, but uh, so I've already we've already done Tennessee, so you should already know that. Yes, I do have um, Alabama. Uh, beating, uh, beating, um, Tennessee for the, for the whatever it, uh, for the, uh, 15th or, or whatever it, uh, year in a row. I know that, uh, N Nick Saban has never lost to Tennessee during his time, uh, at, at Bama, so. And then next you've got Miss Mississippi State. Um, yeah, that should be an easy win. You haven't lost to Mississippi State since two thousand seven, and uh, that that does that doesn't count, right? And then next, you um, get your uh, your bye week, uh, and then next you are. Um, at um, LSU, no, 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 no. This could be a, uh, uh, you know, another potential uh, trap game here. Uh, but um, I mean, LSU is still uh, rebuilding, so so I think that would be that should be another win. And then next, uh, you come to um, Ole Miss. Hedges. Uh yeah, any anyway, so another game uh that you uh that you could lose uh 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 but you won't so I have you beating Ole Miss. And then next you've got Austin P. Uh, 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 uh yeah, what is that? You you're gonna completely obliterate them. And then next you've got Auburn. Now, now, if this was, um, was, um, 
in Auburn, uh, I would give Auburn a chance. But since it's in, it's in Tuscaloosa, there's um, no chance. Uh, Bama big. Um, so yes, that's twelve and zero. I, I know that it that it that it, that is really easy to um, uh, to have Alabama going uh, twelve and zero. Uh, but whatever, maybe, maybe they'll, they'll lose a game, uh, may, maybe they won't, but I do have y'all going 12 and up. Yeah, and, um, and now for, um, LSU, um, last year, LSU was, uh, uh, was six and six, or, um, six and seven after losing to, Kansas State in their bowl game, uh, and um, and they fired uh, Mama Cocho, yeah, um, Ed Orgeron, yeah, go Tigers, um, yeah. So they did go ahead and uh, hire uh, Brian Kelly away from Notre Dame, so. So, um, of course, uh, yes, yeah, so, um, and, uh, quarterback, uh, Max Johnson tra transferred to, um, to Texas A&M, uh, yes, yeah, so they did, uh, my mom, my mom, my mom bring in, uh, Jaden Daniels from Arizona State. So, uh, yeah, I think he's kind of, yeah, he's, um, okay. I mean, he's, um, he's, um, I think he's, um, average. So, uh, but anyway, so, uh, but, but I do think, think, think that they have a, a good, uh, group of wide receivers, though. So they do get back uh um the yeah, leading receiver um um uh Kayshawn Boutte. Uh yeah, I like that name, yeah. Uh Bo Boutte. Yeah, so he's back, you know, yeah. Had a knee injury in October. So he'll be back and also got uh Jare Jenkins, he's gonna be the uh, uh, the uh, veteran of the group. I also have um, three uh, uh, wide receivers who were freshmen last year. Uh, at uh, J Jack Beck, uh, Malik uh, Nabbers, and uh, Brian Thomas Jr. Uh, so I mean, like like I said, good uh, group of wide receivers. Average quarterback, uh, yeah, and then, yeah, and then they're, uh, and then their uh, offensive line was trash. Yeah, it gave up 38 sacks. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, run, yeah, run game. Uh, well, it's, um, not very good, so. Uh, as for your defense, well, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, I think it's kind of um, average, right? You did lose your uh, leading tackler, um, Damone Clark, uh, but they do bring back uh, Micah Baskerville, their uh, second leading tackler, and they do bring back their uh, their best safety, uh, Jay Ward, and they also got another safety. Uh, Joe uh, Fusha from Arkansas. Let's see, and then and then they and then they did lose two cornerbacks to the uh, transfer portal. They lost um, Dwight McGlovern to Arkansas and um, Eli Ricks to Alabama. So. But they do, uh, um, yeah. And they, and they, then, then they did get a, uh, uh, a corner from Arkansas as well, uh, 
Greg Brooks Jr. So, uh, so anyways, how about we, uh, uh, get into their schedule now. We start out week one, uh, versus Florida State. Yeah, neutral site. Yeah, not so neutral site game in New Orleans. And, uh, yeah, Florida State has lost, like, like five straight uh, opening games. Now, n now they are going to win an, an opening week, week game this year because they do play Duquesne in week zero. Uh, but this is week one, so Florida State has also lost five straight uh, week one games uh, and uh, make it six. And then they do play um, Southern uh, next and uh, that should be an easy win. And then you get Mississippi State at home and, uh, you know, because it's at home. Uh, yeah, so I am gonna, gonna go ahead and give you uh, the win there. And then you play New Mexico, and uh, that that should be an easy win. So we start out uh, four four and zero, oh, but here's where your uh, where your where, where your schedule gets tough. So then you're um, at Auburn, and and I um, mean yes, I do have you have you um, my mom losing uh to auburn on the road now if it was at home i'd probably pick you to win but since it is on the road so i do have you uh drop in that one and then next uh we in the next you um get tennessee um yeah and uh and i think t tennessee is, is going to be really good this year uh but um I, I do have you uh have you uh, pulling off the uh upset here. I guess it would be, you know, sort of an upset. Uh and then you play um at Florida and um I think you um catch an L to uh you know that that you've had Florida's number uh the last couple of years, but I do think th th think Florida yeah, I, I do think Florida gets you uh, this year in, in Gainesville. So, and then I'll give you um, Ole Miss, and um, and um, and yes, I do have you pulling off uh, the upset uh, against um, Ole Miss. Yeah, I don't know why. I've just just decided to you know, you know, you know, throw you all a bone there. Because because I think that you are good enough to um to beat a team or two that you're not supposed to get a couple of signature wins for uh, for Brian Kelly in his first year. Uh, but anyway, so um, and then you get your bye week uh, before you play uh, Alabama and um and and, and um and yeah, I think um. um Alabama will uh, will beat you because they're Alabama. I think they're uh, they're a pretty good team, right? Uh, so anyway, and then uh, next they're um, at Arkansas. Now I do have this um, as as a loss. I do think Arkansas will be will will, will be good again this year, and then you got. Um, UAB, UAB is one of the, one of the better group of five teams, but still they really shouldn't have not have any, you know, business competing with, with someone like LSU, so. And then you get, um, your, um, at Texas a and yeah, I guess you, you beat them last year, so this is a revenge game for A&M, and I have you drop in that one. So I think um, that that does have you coming out to um, 
seven and five and three and five in the SEC. Yes, I do think uh think that um Brian Kelly is in for a rude awakening uh in his first year in the SEC. Yeah, and now um moving on to Texas A and M. So last year, um uh, A&M went eight and four. Uh, yes, of course they they uh, uh, they did beat Alabama. Uh, Jimbo Fisher said that uh, that uh, that they were going to beat Alabama, and uh, they did. But they also lost four games. So, and then their uh, their bowl game got canceled. So. Uh, yes, really a, uh, a, uh, a, a di disappointing season, uh, for, uh, Texas A&M, but that's been typical under, uh, Jimbo. They've really only had one, uh, good season that was in, in 2020 during the, uh, COVID schedule, and I think they, uh, they only lost one game, and that was to Alabama. So, so anyway, so um, how much longer is um A and M going to continue uh to um to be patient with um with uh, with Jimbo? But uh, yeah, we're starting to think that uh, maybe Jimbo um is just a uh a, a one-hit wonder. Uh, but anyway, and yes, and A&M does, does lose a lot from last year's team. They had a quarterback, Zach Calzada, transferred to Auburn. But uh, they did get uh, Max Johnson to, um, yeah, Mark Rick's nephew to uh, come over from LSU, so I think that they did get an um get an upgrade at quarterback. And then let's um, see there a run game. Oh uh, yeah, they did lose um Isaiah Spiller. Uh but they did bring back uh Devin A. Chain, so So, that's, so so they should should be okay at running back, and then their uh, receivers. Well, they did lose uh, the tight end Jalen Weidermeyer. Oh uh, yeah, who's been like their uh, their um, leading receiver for the last two years. So yeah, um, he he's gone now. They also had um. Well, M M um, uh, uh, Dumond, uh, uh, Demis, and, uh, and, uh, M um, uh, Caleb Chapman, uh, hit the transfer portal, but they do bring back Anaya Smith and Jalen Preston. As for the, uh, defense, yeah, they did, they did lose a lot on defense. They did lose three, uh, Defensive ends in um, DeMarvin Leal, Michael Clemens, and uh, Tyree Johnson uh, to um, the draft, and they combined for uh, for um, twenty four sacks. So, so it's going to be big shoes to fill. They did also lose their uh, leading tackler, linebacker Aaron Hansford, and a. Uh, yeah. Defensive tackle, uh, 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 Jaden Leal. So, uh, so they did uh, lo lose a lot on defense. Uh, right. So yeah. So I know that uh, the A and M just signed the uh, number one recruiting class, but. Um, but but um, they're still not developed yet, so I don't know how much of an impact uh, they're um, gonna have. So, uh, 
so 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 it pro probably won't be you know you, you know you know a a, a a big help until uh, next year so but anyway so let's go ahead and dive into the, uh, the schedule so um, they do start out um, week one up against Sam Houston FCS team uh, this should be an an easy win. You should beat them by 40 or 50. And then next you get um, uh, App State. Now I know that um, uh, Appalachian State uh, is um, is um, is known uh, for beating Power Five teams, like when they beat Michigan uh, when when they were number one in 2007, but. So they might have this uh, reputation as um, giant killers, uh, but really they, but but recently they're uh, really not. They really haven't been as good uh, as they have been. So, so anyway, I still think App State's pretty good, but again, they should not be able to beat uh, beat uh, Texas A and M though. So I got that as a win. And the next, uh, we've got um, Miami. Yeah, that's gonna gonna be a uh, a big game here. That they're probably both gonna be uh, in the top ten. So, but anyway, so um, so you know, this is a uh, hard game uh, to pick. Uh, but since y'all do get uh, the Canes uh, at home, uh, I'm not very confident in it. But this really could go either way, but I'm going to give you the win. And then next you are um, versus Arkansas in um, Arlington, Texas. Uh, 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 yeah, why do y'all play this Um as a neutral site every year. I mean, it was going to be in Arlington at AT&T Stadium. Uh, and I um, yeah, know that they uh, beat you uh, last year. So this is a, uh, a, uh, a revenge game. Uh, yeah, so I am going to, going to go ahead and uh, give you the, uh, uh, the win here. And then next you've got at um, Mississippi State. Uh, yeah, this this is another uh, revenge game. Uh, you do have to go on the road, so uh, I uh, to the uh, uh, the cowbells, uh, and I do have you um, drop in this one. And then next uh, you're. Um, at Alabama, I know this is a big, yeah, big uh, revenge game uh, for Bama, especially after y'all uh, beat them last year, and um, and all the things that uh, uh, that Jimbo was uh, uh, was um, uh, running uh, his uh, mouth um, about Nick Saban. So um, yeah, so I think uh, now he's uh, now. Uh, uh, Jimbo is going to get his cheeks clapped. So, so yes, this would be a giant L, uh, for, uh, for A&M. Yeah, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna get ugly, so. But anyway, so the next you get your, uh, uh, bye week. Uh, and then after that, um, you do play at South Carolina. Now I already did my uh, South Carolina preview, so you know, gotta stay uh, consistent. But if you saw uh, the uh, when I did South Carolina, when I was doing my East predictions, uh, then you know that I have South Carolina beating Texas A&M. So, and the next you've got. Um, You've got um, 
Ole Miss. Uh, I do think that um, that that Ole Miss is going to be uh, pretty good because of the uh, uh, the uh, Lane Kiffin uh, offense. So uh, I do have you going ahead and dropping this one too. So that's a uh, a, a four game losing streak. Uh, but don't worry, um, think things will get better. Next, you've got Florida. Yeah, I I I think Florida um, is going to be trash this year uh so i do ha ha have you beating them if you saw my my florida preview then you already know they have a and m beating beating florida so and then you're at auburn no no i think that auburn's not going to be very good this year uh either so i am going to go ahead and Go ahead, go ahead and pick you to beat uh, the barn. And then uh, you've got UMass uh, at Massachusetts. Uh, that, uh, they're terrible, even for a group of five team. Uh, that, that, will, that will be an easy win. You should win by 40 or 50. And then you've got um, LSU. It's another revenge game uh, from last year. I know how. How did y'all lose uh, to uh, to LSU uh, uh, last year? But go Tigers. But um. But anyway, uh, they're kind of uh, rebuilding. They've got a new coaching staff with uh, Brian Kelly. So I do have you uh, going ahead and. Uh, winning this one and and I just did uh LSU so but anyway so um eight and four which is a uh, uh so a, a typical uh record for um Texas A&M eight and four and four and four in the SEC